Yeah. Yeah, I want to show you the final position of the game that you missed. Whoops, that's the wrong. That's wrong. yeah. This is this is how Crush lost oh, yeah. to Tatav. God damn. Yeah, that was the beating of a lifetime. Yeah. But Crush allowed herself to get mated instead of resigning. So people like that. Yeah. And well, that's kind of nice. And then good sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. Yep. And by yep, I mean I want to show the game Tata versus Yep. Okay, this game featured like both sides playing crazy like Fox News. Okay? And I can't make that joke. I gotta watch it now. Okay, so Carissa's black against Tatev. And both players like to play wild and crazy chess. So that's what we got. They they did not disappoint. Somebody do a do a, a, a marker. This is the last game. Carissa Yip is black against Tatev. Abrahamian. Okay, so it was a King's Indian, which Carissa plays with black and Tatev used to play with black. But Tatev typically doesn't play D4. She usually plays E4. So I was surprised she's playing D4. So she played this weird line against the King's Indian that I don't know. Looks like a King's Indian. Put it in H. Typically, black attacks on the king's side, but Tatev's white, so she'll attack on the king's side. G4 is also a move, which makes sense because white played bishop E2. Try to push the king's side pawns. Always play F3. Okay, the engine likes white because in the king's Indian, the engine always likes white. And the engine wants to castle queen's side, but that did not happen this game. Engine still likes white. Okay. Now, white played a move that I would play like in a 10-second game. Maybe. It's a little loose for my 10-second play. And I would never play it in a slow game, and Tatev played it. I'm not saying it's a bad move. I'm just saying, like, I would not play this move. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she's Tatev. This is how she plays. Like, she strategically has a space advantage and nice pieces, but she doesn't do that. She, like, plays for checkmate. She, she doesn't know what that means to, like, you know, maneuver around. and So she played G4. I mean, I wouldn't even consider G4. G4 is not a terrible move. G4 is okay. Okay, so CD... C, D, A4. Engine likes A4. G5 blocks up the king side. So that's not really what white wants. White's trying to attack too. So white played bishop G5, pinning the knight. Queen A5. Queen D2, unpinning the knight. Rook F, C8. The engine says it's equal. Okay. Now, what Tatev did is correct. She took the knight and took on H5. So black doesn't want to take on h5 because there's like queen h6 and rook g1 check and mm -hmm. so forth. Okay, so black played a3. Now white's got to watch it because there's a lot of tricks over here. There's a lot of fusta vizu. Okay, now the correct move is very funny. It's b4. Then you have to take, then I play rook b1. Then you have to go back and then I take on g6. And this is equal, it says. Okay, she played rook a b1 instead of b4. Now she's in a lot of trouble. G, a takes b2. Rook takes b2. G takes h5. And I was watching the broadcast here, and Tatev made like a triple question mark move here. So in this position, white's already like much worse. But she played with the losers immediately. But it's all tactics. It's just like you have to calculate 100 moves ahead for both sides. And Carissa's better at that. So Tatev played queen h6. Sacrificing her knight with check. So queen takes knight check. And then she played king f1. So Tatev wants to play rook g1 with mate. Problem is rook g1 is not with mate. 
And they thought Totep just missed that Black could play the move Bishop G4. So Rick G1 isn't made. So Black plays Bishop G7. And then when you play Rook G1, which looks good, mm -hmm. now I play Bishop G4 and your queen's hanging. Also, you're down a piece. <clears throat> also, your rook's hanging. Also, your queen doesn't have a retreat square, really. I mean, G5. So now this is completely winning. You can't play knight takes G4 because I take your queen. Okay, so she played queen G5, which makes sense. And F6, which is not necessary, but it wins. Queen G6, and she takes the rook. And Black's up a rook and a piece. And Black's next move is rook takes a2 and this. And then bishop g4 just blocks everything up. And Carissa had seen that, so she knew that white couldn't play queen h6. But I guess Tatev underestimated bishop g4. Knight g4, hg4, rook g4, threatening mate, rook c7, and Black's up a rook. And that's the end of white's attack. Now Black's threatening... Actually, if black plays rook takes a2, this probably draws. So I can't take that. She played h5. Knight d3, exclam. If you take the knight, then this gives black the advantage. Wait, she did do that? She either did that or she resigned. I can't tell because I made those moves. I hope she didn't do that. I hope she resigned instead. I think she did this and she got mated. Oh well, and the truth hurts. So if you play h6, which is the other move, then I go rook c1 check, king g2, queen takes e2 check, king somewhere, takes check, and mate. And also I have other ways to win, like knight f4 check. God damn. So that game basically was a interesting game and then in this position white played queen h6 losing immediately and if you give a knight away with check you can't be wrong but she was wrong so queen h6 just a terrible blunder yeah but actually in this position if white had played b4 and then and then and then played takes well then the game then the game's interesting then all, both sides can win both sides have an attack. So that's when two attacking players play each other and one miscalculates. Well, I mean, it's cool that she went for it. And she just didn't. Oh, knight g3 resigns? Good. Just didn't calculate. This court is not ever long enough. Because it's long and it's strong. And actually, my phone died. So I'm not even sure if it's working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's working when it's like that. It was black for a second when I said that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, those were the games I wanted to show you from the U.S. Championship and U.S. Women's Championship. The U.S. Championship, Fabiano Caruana tied, um, got clear first. He actually won the tournament with a round to go. And then Wesley So, Dominguez, and Mishra tied for second. And the women's, Carissa Yip won. Toker Genova got second. And Alice Lee got third. Alice Lee broke 2,400 by winning her last round, so now she's an IM because she had her norms. And now she's 2,400. And they all get lots of prize money. Uh, Yip gets 40,000. That'll pay for two or three months at Stanford, right? Oh, snap. 